in endurance, you um, during the race, you will have a number of times that you have to present your horse to the vet. You've had to go through all the vet checks successfully. We will go through all of the different checks that that the vets do in more detail. But for right now, we're going to look at one of the parts that a lot of people have trouble with. The vet will ask you to trot out, right? So that means that in the area that the vet has been checking the horse, you will have a number of lanes. So that's my makeshift attempt at a lane. And you'll be asked to trot out all the way, turn around and trot back. Yes. And during that time, you, the vet will be watching your horse's movement. Now, for some people, it's quite challenging, and I'm convinced that it's challenging because they don't practice. This is not something that's normal and natural for your horse. They're not used to having to run in a line, only to turn around and run back in the same line. That's not normal for them. So, for any endurance horse, it's very important to check how they deal with it. And, and to teach them how to do it. This is Quacha, Quacha is perfect. So he is very good. Yes, you're absolutely perfect. He is very good at trotting out. And I like to give them verbal cues rather than just yanking on them. So Quacha already knows that when I say he's good, it's good. He knows that we're not trotting out and that the world is watching him and that he is second only to God. Trotting with a bun is no fun. So when you trot out, you have to go with your horse because the horse doesn't necessarily know where to go. What I've done at the end of the course there, you'll see I've put a yellow barrier. Don't tell the jumpers and the dressage riders, but I've used their toys to make a lane. I'm not going to put it back. Um, I put the barrier at the end there because usually at the end of a betting area there would be some sort of boundary and um, you want your horse to know that they're not just running into the wide view yonder. All right, so, all right, so Kwacha, the vet says you look fantastic. You always look fantastic. All right, you're healthy, you're fit, you're sound. Important, you want to look where you want to go and you must not pull on your horse. That's very important. One of two things will happen. One, ugh, one, they'll do that. So as soon as you pull down on a horse's head, they pull back up. The instinct is to pull their, their head back up. And that's usually when you lose the game and you go flying. All right. So that's the one thing that could happen if you pull. The other thing that could happen if you pull is that you actually get eliminated. Because if you're dragging your horse down the lane, the vet cannot see whether that horse is lame or not. So they will give you multiple chances to do it properly. But if you can't, the assumption would have to be that your horse doesn't want to trot. And you need to respect that. All right. So with Quacha, I'll tell him that we need to go. So Quacha, let's go. Quacha, Quacha. And that's our trot out. My horse is much fitter than what I am. Whew, give me a moment. Okay. Okay. I hate running. Anyway, so you'll see at the end, you need to tell your horse to slow down, which coming back in this direction, you would have seen Quacha nose already. But you need to slow down before there. Don't try and trot in a circle. <laughs> trot to the barrier, slow down, stop, turn around. It's easiest on the outside of your horse. So, like that. As opposed to, I don't have snacks. 
You'll get snacks just. So that's the end of what we're going to do with kwacha.